Hello everybody, welcome to part 3 in the video series about how to create this illustration right here in Procreate. Now in the last two videos we composited this image, we added all the layers and masked them out. And in this video we're going to be working on the colors and the effects. So let's dive right into it. So first of all we're going to select the layer with the woman on it right here. And then we're going to go into color balance. Now color balance allows us to adjust three different parameters, cyan, red, magenta, green, and yellow and blue. We're just going to move the yellow and blue slider a little bit more to the blue because C is a little bit too yellow. So we're going to make her a little bit more blue. And we have three things to choose from there. We have the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights. The highlights are the brightest areas. The shadows are the darkest areas and the midtones are somewhere in between. So we're just going to adjust these a little bit to our taste. If we go too much to one side, it's going to be very, very bluish. And uh, yeah, that doesn't work. So we're going to just need to find a nice balance where it looks like she belongs to this environment. And this is just a matter of tweaking these sliders a little bit until it feels right to you. For me, it helps a little bit to zoom out to get a bigger picture to see like, does this make sense? Ah, okay. Maybe bring down the blues a little bit. So there we go. Now I feel this character belongs to this environment. In this environment, we're looking through this window. So shouldn't the window be a little bit blurred? Because the eye needs to focus on the woman that is in the distance here. So I feel like we need to make this window here a little bit blurred. What we're going to do is we're going to choose the window layer. And then we're going to go into Gaussian Blur. And we're just going to blur it a little bit. You just put your finger on the canvas and you can slide it to the right or to the left. And once you find a nice sort of middle point there, we can just tap on the effects icon again and then we've deselected that. So now we've made a Gaussian Blur effect. Now I'm going to add another effect because we are on a jet plane, right? And there needs to be motion blur. When something is in motion, very, very fast motion, there tends to be this blur effect that we're going to replicate using Procreate. And to do that, we're just going to add both the balloon layers and the woman holding the string, and we're going to group them. And then we're going to duplicate that group by tapping right here. And then we're going to apply the effect on one of these groups. But we can't apply it on the group itself. We need to flatten it first. We need to take all of these layers and just make it into a single layer. And to do that, we simply tap on it and tap flatten. And now this group is just one layer. And why that's important is because now we can apply the motion blur effect on this layer and it will apply to the balloons and the woman itself. So we're going to tap on the adjustments and then we're going to go into motion blur. I just can tap on that. And then what we do is we slide the finger in the direction of the motion. So the jet plane is moving in this direction. And then I'm going to recall the other group because uh, we can't really see what's going on there. And I'm going to reposition the effect so that it looks a little bit like this. So now we can see the actual character and the balloons. It's still in focus. We can still see what's going on, but it has this motion blur effect. So it looks like this character is moving fast or actually, well, the plane is moving. You get the idea. And the final thing that I want to do is I want to apply an effect on the entire image. And to do that, we're going to copy the canvas, the entire canvas. It's just going to take a snapshot of the canvas. Then I'm going to swipe down with three fingers. And then I'm going to paste. Now, this is a copy paste dialog. And now we have basically pasted the entire canvas, a snapshot of the entire canvas on top of the layer panel right there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to apply an effect on this layer that has all of the information on it. And I'm going to apply a bloom effect. And what that does, it just makes all of the highlights sort of bloom out like uh, it's a little bit mystical, right? And it's the same thing as with all of the other effects. We just adjust these sliders until we have something that we're happy with. Now, last but not least, we're going to talk about the reveal effect. This thing right here. How do you do this? Well, 
here's exactly how to do it. First, we're going to create a layer on top. We're going to add a selection around the layer, just a rectangle, and we're going to drop in a white color into the rectangle. So now we have a rectangle on a separate layer. Then we're going to go into the layers panel and we're going to move the finished image on top. So this is the image with all of the layers combined and with the bloom effect. Then I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to do clipping mask. A clipping mask are super powerful. Uh, that's a topic for a separate video. But what we're going to do now is we're going to select the airplane window and we're not going to have the mask selected not going to have the mask selected. So just the airplane window, we're going to make sure that that is the only layer that is visible outside the clipping mask and the rectangle. So now we're going to select the rectangle. We're going to go into transform tool. And now we can reveal using this rectangle. The only thing we're doing is we're moving this rectangle around and it reveals the final image. Pretty cool, right? And we can apply all sorts of effects on this rectangle. We can add a Gaussian blur to it. We can, you know, warp it, transform it. We can rotate it. We can make it come from above or below, whatever we want. So I want to thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like these videos and subscribe. Really, really, if these videos were helpful, please subscribe because we're going to be making a lot more videos in the future. I want to thank you all very, very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.